Sensors online. Weapons online. In override, we trust. All systems nominal. Oh. Override engaged. Fleet command coming in. Capture the target area and engage any hostiles. Affirmative. Side of Fox 4 towards Fox 5. So it's Target up. spotted.
started to make a dent. Be sure to stop them. That wasn't a bad first match. Completely unskilled. Everything. Still not a bad match compared to the matches I've had today. So let me show you this monstrosity. So in another match, somebody told me he, I was he was talking about how he only brought in uh, like three tons of ammo, and I was like, ah, that's not near enough for what you're running. And he says, yeah, I screwed up. I don't know what happened exactly. But he says, yeah, so I'm going to go and definitely uh, reset re up my uh, Battle Master. And I was like, you have a Battle Master with LRMs? And he goes, yeah. I says, I thought they only had like two or three. And he goes, no, there's one out there that's got four. So I bought one. So this is the Battle Master 1S. And I haven't come up with a name for this thing yet, but I'm going to give it a, a couple tries and see how it works out. If I don't like it, I'll skip it and, sh and uh, shred it, but... So far, it's not bad, and I do kind of like this thing. From the back, it looks a little bit like a, um, a hunchback version of a uh, Zeus. I mean, from the front, it definitely looks like a Zeus from the front. You can kind of see that if you... Uh, let's see here. I don't have a Zeus on this account, but yeah. So let's take a look at the load. So I've loaded this thing up with four LRM-15s. It's a little toasty. So I might have to sch schedule these down to a four LRM-10s, or maybe a couple LRM-10s and a couple LRM-15s, or maybe just go with an LRM-20 here and then two LRM-15s. That might also work as well. Anyway, um, but uh, that might save me some uh, tonnage and also maybe allow me to put a little bit better uh, heat management on board. Which in interesting thing is, is I wonder if you can't go with, I don't think there's enough room to do three LRM 20s. I don't know. I don't think so. But it is an interesting thought. I don't even know if I own any LRM 20s. I know I spent all my money trying to buy this mech because I just bought another mech earlier. Actually, I don't know. I'll find out. But anyway, so, and then I did uh, two medium X-Pulse and two small X-Pulse. And so far, I'm kind of digging this build. Uh, heat management is terrible on this, but the X-Pulses do that to you. That's why. If you're going to be primarily firing just the LRMs, uh, 1.78 is not terrible. So this is not a bad build. Uh, so it's those X-Pulses that really throw everything into the whack. And since I had extra uh, um, weight weighing, laying around, I went ahead and upped to this. I think I might actually go with doing another X Pulse medium. And that's actually the same amount of uh, heat, so there's no real benefit to doing it. Yeah, 1.96 and 1.97, so there's no big benefit to doing it. I did two double heat sinks on here and. The firepower is 65, the speed is 56. It's not great, but you know, it's what it is. And let me show you the consumables. So part of the reason this thing works really well is missile cooldown minus 10, missile velocity minus 15, heat minus 10, missile spread minus 10, cooldown minus 10, and range plus 10. Now as far as the structure goes, it's a little bit crazy. So left arm and right arm for base armor you're getting plus 25 that is I, I don't think I've ever seen that high before it's outside of like an annihilator 
Um, then the center torso, you're getting plus 18. And then the left and right torso, you're getting plus 12. And then on the, that's for structure. And then left and right arm, you're getting plus 14, which is really good. And then base armor for left leg and right leg, you're getting plus 12. Crit hit chance receiving minus 10%. So those really add up, and that makes this thing a really good uh, overall build. So you can really have a lot of fun with this thing if you really figured out how to run it really well. I'm still experimenting with it, so we'll see. But I had to go with standard armor, and I went with double heat sinks because they're just more efficient. And then uh, endo steel. In case you're curious, uh, let's, let me just show you what it would be like if I had um, the standard on here. So if I went with standards, I could go here, and I could go one on the center torso, or on the engine, and I could go here, and this maxes me out. And the heat management is 0.89, so that is definitely not better by any stretch of the imagination. So resetting it back, I actually have better heat management this way, going with the double heat sinks. Double heat sinks, they just work so much better. And let me show you this, the skills. There are none. I bought this and literally went right into a match. No skills, nothing unlocked. Nothing perceived to be a, ever unlocked. And I've got enough to buy two uh, skills, so I'll probably buy those next. Anyway, yeah, this is the Battlemaster uh, 1S, and um, this is actually the second mech I purchased today. And I also purchased a uh, Catapult C2 today, and I'm working on that too, and I've managed to scale it up to 39. We'll see how it goes. And as you can see, I've got a Hellfire I'm working on as well. So you'll have videos of those ones coming out soon, but in the meantime, I'm playing with this, and I'm just, I'm really kind of digging it. After, now that I'm thinking about it, I think it really does work really well. Anyway, hope to see you in the matches.